Cariella's mom here. I just wanted to come on here really quick to update you guys. So today was going to be the day that Ariella took her medication because it's my day off and I wanted to monitor her, but I didn't want to do it. I got scared. I said no. Um, I freak out because I feel guilty that I'm giving her medication that has all these side effects. So I came home the other day. Mind you, I got a prescription, I believe it was on the 10th of December, and I just barely put it in December 28th. Came home to these two things of her medication. The doctor had originally told me to give her 5 mLs of this stuff. Um, it is called Zorontin. Never heard of it, but it is uh, euthamide. Um but it's 2.5 mLs two times daily. Then after a week, it goes up to 5 mLs. And she can take it all the way up to 10 mLs. So I decided to start her off on the 2.5 mLs. I was originally going to do it today. Then I started to feel guilty because all these side effects. Just like with any prescription, they all have side effects. Um... But this one was just a little too scary, so I held off on giving her the medication. So the side effects they state say um, may cause, they're super scary, fever, swollen glands, sore throat, easy bruising, red or purple spots on your body, bleeding gums or nosebleeds, severe fatigue or weakness, muscle pain, um, unexplained skin rash, thoughts about suicide, attempts to commit suicide, new or worse depression, worse anxiety, panic attacks, feeling aggressive, dangerous impulses, and extreme increased activity and in talking. I mean, she does that normally. Um, unusual changes in behavior or mood. So I don't want my child to have thoughts of suicide, depression, anxiety, panic attacks. I have all these things and they're no fun. And for my six-year-old, I felt super guilty um, getting her diagnosis as if I did something that caused that. Um, so I held off and I did not give it to her today and just talked to a few people to figure out what I'm going to do about it. And after talking to some very important people in my life and their opinions matter, I have decided that I'm going to give it to her. I weighed out the pros and cons and in order for her to function normally and um, benefit at school and be able to carry on normal conversations, I would have to give into this prescription. Um, I did some research, so I saw that the common side effects are diarrhea, um, upset stomach, and fatigue. So if that's what it is, then that's great. Sorry, but my light just turned off. <laughs> you know how things go. Things aren't always perfect when you're, um, you're trying to record. I can deal with those side effects. I think she would do well. The only reason why I want to go with the medication is because it's 90% effective. So that means that she won't have as many absent epilepsies a day like she does now that disturb her conversations that she's having, disturbs the learning that she's having. So I would really like to put her on the medication. I'm going to start off with the lowest dose which is the 2.5 mLs and see how it goes. I just want the best for her, you know, and I don't want to I don't want to keep her from learning. I just want her to carry a conversation with me without me having to stop, you know, and it's hard when we're having a conversation and then we have to like redo the whole conversation again, you know. I don't know if you saw that movie 50 First Dates. It's kind of like that, you know, you redo you go back and you redo it and you redo it with her, you know, and it just sucks. And now she's getting frustrated because it's interrupting her learning. It's interrupting her conversations with her friends. Her friends will walk away thinking that she's ignoring them, you know, and they don't realize that she's having a moment or an episode, what we call it. 
So I'm hoping for the best. I'm going to pray over this medication and pray that it gives my daughter um, everything that she needs to help with this condition that she has, knowing that it's 90% effective. I'm going to have to give it a try. I mean, I take medication for depression and they have side effects and I'm actually okay, you know? So all medication has side effects. I mean, Tylenol has side effects. So I just can't be scared. I feel like it's okay to give it to her and the devil's telling me don't give it to her because the devil wants to keep her like that. But you know what? God gifted these doctors to help my daughter. I choose to give it to her over the weekend. Now, I'm not going to do it on my day off when I have one day off. I'm going to do it this weekend since it's a three-day weekend. It's going to be New Year's. So give me three days with her to monitor her. I will keep you guys updated. I wanted to share this because I don't find a lot of research on this medication or um, the absent epilepsies. I'm kind of concerned because I think that a lot of children are being misdiagnosed and they may be actually having absent epilepsies and they're being diagnosed as maybe ADD or some type of at attention issues. But in reality, I don't know, I think you need to take a further look if you're dealing with something else and you think your child's ignoring you or, you know, they space out or have these staring spells, take a look, it may be absent epilepsies. So there it is there. Zorontin is the medication and let's see how it goes. Wish me luck. Pray for us. Pray for me because I don't know when I'm giving it to her, I'll probably flip out and cry. I mean, I cry when I re looked at this bottle and was thinking, dang, she's going to have to take this medication. But <sighs> it's the cards that I've been dealt with. So we'll go from there. Thanks for watching, guys. Like she says, give us a huge thumbs up. Bye.